How a local doctor got the best malicious compliance against my boss. Somewhere around 2007 I was working as a drugstore manager. Running the entire front store in the pharmacy. Pay was excellent for someone who was in their early to mid-twenties but the job was also soul-crushing. In some stupid ways. A rule came down that cashiers can no longer have drinks at the register. They can drink on their lunch breaks and otherwise shouldn't need water. At the same time they dialed back the AC so the store was constantly uncomfortably warm but not technically dangerous. I had some of the best staff. One lady was roughly 65 and came to me to let me know she was on medicine that gave her dry mouth. So she needed me to know if I took her water away she would really have a hard time being able to talk to customers. She almost developed a lisp when she couldn't have her water. I told her no worries have your water I'll deal with my boss when he sees you someday. Because he was running 40 stores and mine was generally not a problem store. He only came by every 60 days or so. Eventually he does swing in and asks her about her water. She says I have a medical condition and I told her it was fine. I also told him I had approved the water. He pulls me into the office to let me know that for her to have that water she needs a doctor's note. If he sees her with it again without a note we both get written warnings. He explains this is because not following the company rule can't be a decision made by me. I'm flabbergasted. I'm just the manager in charge of the store. This company literally made me do drills on how to deal with bombs or shootings but I can't approve. A bottle of water? It must be an exception deemed necessary for medical needs. I explain this is stupid. He actually agrees but says he's also following orders from above. Great. I pull my cashier aside and tell her what's up. I said I'm really sorry but can she please just get her doctor to fax a stupid note over so we can cover our asses? She got a little gleam in her eye and I was excited to see what it meant. Her next shift she rolls in and says you are going to love this. She hands me about 100 copies of a letter that says something along the lines of I do solemnly state that cashier is medically a human being and requires water on regular intervals while working and not solely during breaks. This was a massive waste of my time and your company should be ashamed of yourself. I will be recommending your competitor as much as humanly possible to my patients who fill prescriptions in this town for the rest of my natural life. Doctor. The next 40 were identical letters each with a different staff member listed as my genius cashier. Has snagged an old schedule with first names and last initials. The rest had a blank space for me to fill in new hire names so our staff could all have drinks on. The sales floor. My boss wasn't even mad. None of the higher-ups above him ever mentioned it on a store walk so I assume it was covered in a meeting of people higher up than me. Lol, that's beautiful. This is perfect. Revenge is a glass best served cold. XD. I love this so much. That's such a dumb rule and nobody should have to deal with that. 2. Front-end employees. From. HR. It has come to our attention that many of you view this job as mind-numbingly boring. So we have implemented some changes to deal with this issue. 1. No more drinks at the register. This will keep those of you inclined to spike your water with vodka mentally sharper and more engaged with the customer. It has the secondary benefit of reducing required bathroom breaks. But between us, that is merely serendipitous. 2. No sitting at the register. The ability to stand without swaying will help show management that you are not using other illicit substances for escapism. Thank you, and go team! Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Upvoted, laughed at the corporate dunderheads and enjoyed this immensely. Exclamation mark. 
I am a cashier required by corporate to greet every customer who comes through the doors of our store. My place of employment required me to also get a doctor's note so that I could keep a bottle of water hidden from view near my cash register. I'm in my 60s with health issues. Why do I just picture the boss who agreed the rule is stupid just saw those letters? Nodded his head. Then spent the next 30 minutes laughing his ass off in his office? Imagine the doctor taking it one step further and contacting the AMA and suggesting a boycott of said drugstore chain. Tears of joy rolling on the floor laughing brilliant. My so is a mailman. He has difficulty seeing at dusk. So he informed the supervisor he could deliver mounted from a truck, not walking through the yards, but couldn't see well enough to walk an unfamiliar route. The supervisor said he needed a doctor's note. To which my beloved replied, so you want me to go get a note saying I can't see in the dark. Poor supervisor realized his folly and said the note wasn't necessary. Among the many aspects of tyrannical bosses that I don't understand. No drinks. And no sitting. That's ridiculous. Hooray for this doctor. Only way it could be better is if every doctor's note comes attached with a bill to the company. Aren't we sick and tired of a few individuals with unnecessary power over others' lives? We need a new model of business. This one isn't doing as well as promised. Once, while working for a health insurance company, I had to submit an ADA accommodation request to be allowed to pee whenever I felt the need. I had to take a day off and shell out $50 copay for this BS. My doctor was pissed and so wrote it to give me unlimited breaks rather than just an extra one or two and I took full advantage. Why do I suspect this is a CVS? The woman is a genius, and I love her attitude. My doctor's note allowing me to have water at my register has followed me through three store transfers and two states and his retirement. Here in so, Florida water is a must all the time. God forbid water should spill at the register in a grocery store where food stuff gets all over everything. Have you ever seen the water pour out of produce items? R. Anti-work. This is the best MC I've seen. I will be recommending your competitor as much as humanly possible to my patients who fill prescriptions in this town for the rest of my natural life. I sure hope the doctor continues doing this during their unnatural life too. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.